What's up, YouTube? This is my Porsche 944, and it's in help me, help me state. Uh, anyway, we are going to be doing the brake booster. We're going to be removing it and also going to be probably replacing this uh, slay, uh, cylinder. And also, uh, while I'm in this area, I might as well do the clutch uh, slay cylinder uh, thingamajig because it's kind of leaking, so I might as well just replace everything while I'm like right here. Um... <laughs> Or see what I need to go on. Might not go on 944.com or 944online.com or Pelican Parts and uh, see where I need to actually uh, go at next um, to get this done. Um, also, we got to paint this all black right here. So sometimes when I feel like going to the store, I need to go do it. And also, I'm going to redo this panel right here. If you haven't watched the rat, uh, last recent video, I did have some body feel I really didn't get down flat enough. And now you want to know it's supposed to. It's okay. I can redo that piece. But I am going to be painting like the fenders and all other pieces uh, one by one. Anyway, first thing first uh, you want to do is uh, drain out your fluid. Remove this top right here. Drain out your fluid. Or you can get like an incubator and uh, bleed all the fluid out. But being that I already removed the suspension stuff, most of the brake fluid had uh, bled out. Um, so I need to remove this hose right here. And she should just uh, pop right off. And uh, once I do that, remove these uh, two bolts there. Well, these lines right here, I think it's a 7 16th, uh, unloosen them, then remove uh, the bolts on uh, each side. And then inside, we need to remove three bolts. And um, uh, they got like uh, the rod, they have like a little flat piece, so we need to put like an 8 millimeter wrench on there and twist it off and uh, hopefully uh, pull it out. So, drain fluid. Uh, Remove this, remove uh, lines, 716, I believe. Remove these two bolts right here. Go inside the tight behind crimp space. Uh, remove the three bolts and tug her out. Or no, take her out. We'll see. And guys, when I say like tight behind the space, it's really a tight space. It's still real messy and stuff in here. I got a lot of gaskets and stuff in here. But anyway, I literally was laying down just to have like enough room to get like in that back part uh, right there. Um, but I will show y'all the three bolts. Can I show y'all right now? Hopefully I could. Yeah, hopefully I could. Yeah, right there. One bolt there, one bolt there, and then one bolt up top. So that piece that you're looking at right there is our brake booster. And then it's the nut right here. You're going to have to uh, loosen. Yeah, I loosen that nut right there. And then the rod I was talking about, which is right there, you can put like a wrench on and hopefully uh, twist it out. So. One bolt there, one bolt there, and one up top. Oh. All right, guys, so we got it off. Now we just got to remove these bad boys here. And I, like I said, it had to have been a 716. Yes, it is. Oh. <clears throat> I'm going to put some a uh, little pressure on it. Yeah, let me get these off real quick. So guys, we're using a 7 sixteenths. Got three lines. Whoever, I swear, whoever, uh, let's say, whoever painted this, they like just painted over this gold color. It made it so hard. You gotta get it like some good grip on it. <clears throat> so this particular brake line, I struggled to get this one off. So I took the whole uh, assembly piece and the brake line itself. Also, when I get the new uh, slave cylinder, I'm gonna get a new brake line also. As you can see.
Alright, so guys, I finally got her out of the way. It's kind of upside down. But anyway, I went that way to loosen the rod off the, the cleavage or I don't know what's the word of that thing. But anyway, I'm loosening up these nuts right now that hold um, this bad boy in place. It's a pretty tight space. I'm going to give y'all a POV what it's like to work uh, on a 944 especially <sighs> try anything underneath here it could be a pain sometimes Well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video of me removing this brake booster. And stay tuned for another video. We're going to try to get this uh, Porsche uh, back. I know it's going to probably take a little bit of time because we're already taking stuff left and right. I'm getting, like, OCD about some stuff. But let's get it done. All right, guys, so that's going to be it. Um, we just got to remove this um, uh, clutch cylinder or whatever you want to call it, clutch slave cylinder. We're going to move that next. And uh, it's going to be actually pretty fun. We'll see how that's uh, go. And um, then that's pretty much it for right now.